Hi, welcome you all. In today's class, we are going to see solid shapes. Uh, we now we are going to see uh, some important shapes. One is circle, other one is square, another one is rectangle, other one is triangle. So circle. Okay, it is a this is a what kind? What is a circle? What is a shape name? Circle. <coughs> And other one is square and the next one the first diagram is circle and second one is square third one is rectangle fourth one is triangle okay these are the solid shapes some important solid shapes okay circle it has no corners and no sides okay circle because it is a curved shape okay it has no corners and no sides the first point of circle and uh, the next one is but it has a center point this is called this is center point from the center point we have drawn the circle uh, sorry i have drawn the circle so this point is the center of the circle we can call it as generally o okay now after that we have to what <coughs> cut into equal half we have to what uh, separate the circle that is called from this point to this point from this point to this point so we have to draw uh, what line we have drawn a line that is called as uh, way, sorry we have drawn a line segment it is called as what diameter from the diameter we have to cut okay equal half that is called as a radius for example this is diameter fully so after that we have to draw this okay from the entire diameter we have to cut into equal as is called as radius Okay, D means diameter, R means radius. D means diameter. Okay, R means radius. This O means center of the circle. Center of the circle. Okay, next one is we can call it as square. So it has four corners. One. 2 3 and 4 4 sorry 4 sides 1 2 3 and 4 okay and 4 corners okay 4 corners that is called as corners mean vertex this is one corner and this is another corner and this is another corner and this is also another corner so 1 2 3 4 corners and 4 sides 1 2 3 4 sides okay and this is called as side this is called as side okay side okay the same thing for the rectangle but square it has when all the four sides are equal all the four sides are equal suppose it is 5 centim 5 cm for example this side is 5 cm 5 cm means this side also 5 cm this side also 5 cm and this side also 5 cm so first side 5 cm second side 5 cm third side 5 cm and fourth side is also 5 cm so length and breadth so generally we can call it as in length and breadth we use the term only for the what uh, rectangle but this is also all the four sides are equal so all the sides are equal mean so two lengths and two breadth because this is called as rectangle this is not a rectangle this is a square so what you are going to say if you consider this is length and this is uh, this is sorry this is length and this is breadth means so all the length and breadth it means all the four sides we generally we didn't use length and breadth for square all the four sides only we have to consider so all the four sides are equal all the four sides are equal so length and breadth we didn't consider for square generally we can consider a length of the side we use length of the side so this is the first side this is second side and this is the third side and this is the fourth side so length of the side or equal for example l length of the side that means s is equal to 5 centimeter means all the four sides are equal so square is a four corners and four sides so circle i just want to give an example circle no corners and no sides i've told you no corners and no sides because it's a curved shape okay so we can generally we just draw center of the point this point is called as center of the point the center of the circle is called as o and then we after that we have drawn a diameter then we have to cut into equal half this is called as radius okay r means radius and d for radius sorry r means radius d for diameter o for the center of the circle and it has no corners and no sides for example cake and tiffin box cake and tiffin box the next one is square so square means four corners and four sides the first corner second corner 
sorry first side second side third side and fourth side the four sides all the four sides are equal we didn't use for length and breadth generally we can call it as length of the side length of the side only we are using because all the four sides are equal each side is 5 cm so all the four sides are equal this is first side second side third side and fourth side so four corners are there four corners also equal next one is rectangle this is considered as length and breadth so this is a length and this is a breadth for example this length is equal to 6 cm means this breadth is equal to we can call it as what 3 cm 3 cm so so two length and what two length and two breadth so that is called as what rectangle so rectangles also four sides but two lengths and two breadth okay and two lengths are equal and two breadths are equal but generally it has four sides and also four corners this is one corner and this is another corner and this is one corner and this is another corner okay so how many corners so one corner two corner three corner and four corners so for corner means we can call it as vertex I think so this is also understood I think so you understand the rectangle also I'll repeat rectangle means four sides and four corners four corners means one corner two corner three corner four corner four corner means four vertex we can call it as another name of corners we can call it as vertex and how many sides four sides but two length and two breadths so two lengths are equal and two breadths are equal what is the difference between uh, what square and rectangle means it has also the so first i'm i'm going to explain the uh, what similar points that means four corners and what four sides okay four corners and four sides okay in square as well as in rectangle but what is the difference between uh, square and rectangle means length of the sides are equal in square but what length two lengths are equal and two breadths are equal so it, this is this is length and breadth we use only for the rectangle but we are not using for square so how many lengths in rectangle means two lengths and two breadths so two lengths are equal and two breadths are equal so what is the example notebooks and pencil box right you have seen uh, what uh, rectangle pencil box and you have seen rectangle notebooks this is the example of rectangle and square i told you dice and clock clock we have seen in the what houses and also uh, what clock shop you can see the square clock shop and one more thing is a dice you can use the dice it's also in square size okay next one is rectangle example is notebooks and pencil box rectangle pencil box so circle example is cake and round tiffin box okay circle has no corners and no sides and square four corners and four sides in rectangle and four corners and four sides an example notebooks and pencil box square is dice and clock i'll repeat once again circle no corners and no side example cake and tiffin box square this is also four corners and four sides example dice and clock in rectangle four corners and four sides again and example notebooks and pencil box in triangle so now we are going to the last diagram triangle so this is some first side second side and third side okay that is three sides one side two second side third side three sides are so three sides rectangles we can't say three sides are equal but only for what only one triangle that is what only there is different types of triangle but generally triangles has three sides we just know about only what equilateral triangle we can call it as that equilateral triangle all three sides are equal okay but this is a triangle but all the sides are different different values okay generally triangle has three sides and three corners one corner and two corner and three corner this is called as what triangle triangle has three sides triangle has three corners and three sides this is first corner second corner third corner triangle has three corners and three sides one two and three three sides one side two side and three sides one two three sides triangle has three sides triangle has three sides and three corners okay example pyramid and house okay we have seen the pyramid and also another example is house so this is the triangle examples okay pyramid and what house notebooks and pencil box what is this rectangle examples and square dice and clock and circle cake and round tiffin box 
ओके राउंड टिफेन टिफिन बॉक्स राउंड टिफिन बॉक्स ओके सो सर्कल नो कॉर्नर्स एंड नो साइड स्क्वायर फोर कॉर्नर्स एंड फोर साइड रेक्टेंगल फोर कॉर्नर्स एंड फोर साइड ट्रायंगल थ्री कॉर्नर्स एंड थ्री साइड एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट वन इज सर्कल केक एंड राउंड टिफिन बॉक्स स्क्वायर एग्जाम्पल टाइस एंड क्लॉक रेक्टेंगल एग्जाम्पल नोटबुक्स एंड पेंसिल बॉक्स ट्रायंगल एग्जाम्पल पिरामिड एंड हाउस ओके सो सर्कल स्क्वायर rectangle and triangle this is circle this is square and this is rectangle and this is a triangle so again this is shape of circle this is a shape of square this is shape of rectangle this is shape of triangle this is called as some important solid shapes okay now we are going to move on some other solid shapes